welcome back to my channel welcome back to a new weekly vlog thank god i put a bra on under here because there was actually one time that my actual nipple fell out on youtube and i had this jumper on and no bra and i went like that and the nipple fell out so that was a fun time um i'm actually starting this week's weekly vlog on a saturday funnily enough um usually i don't vlog on weekends but i'm having I'm having a nice day, well a nice day in my opinion and I thought you know what I'm going to bring you guys along with me. Um, we got up this morning and went for a nice long WALK. We've now got a very tired little boy. He's very wet from the rain and he's very tired. Jordan has head off to football. I've got my comfies on. I kind of feel like it's a Sunday um, and I've just had a big delivery from this brand let me just remove some items because the box is definitely too heavy for me to pick it up so i just had a delivery from cherries um if you guys are regular vlog watchers you've probably seen me talk about this brand um i've had a box from them before and they really in my opinion they essentially are like a b&m a home bargains but online so you get an app where's my phone there it is you get an app let me show you it um and you can essentially just browse a range of different things they have like food cleaning supplies just like the things that you would get in that type of shop um so i did an order from them i've got you guys a discount code because i know you all love a bit of cleaning like me this video is obviously going up on a sunday this might give you a little bit of motivation to deep clean your house because there's just no better feeling like on a day like today it's like torrential rain outside it's so miserable it kind of feels like an autumny winter day hate to be that person but here i am um and i'm gonna deep clean the house so i thought i'd start off with giving you a mini haul i literally have got such an array of things i actually forgot half the things i've ordered it's very random but very functional i'm not going to do this in any particular order because everything is so random i could separate it and like food cleaning but you guys don't really care do you we'll just go random first thing is a bin got this for jordan's office just because he always has so much rubbish in there and he just piles it up and waits for me to take it down so i thought let me get him just a basic bin this matches like the interior in there it's kind of like a net um like metal bin just for him to put his stuff in and to use it as a bin and to be fair i just showed him before he went to football and he was like oh that's actually really nice thank you i was like you're welcome so that's the first thing a bin for jordan got some tupperware because again jordan's always taking them to work leaving them there and then i've got nothing to put leftovers in so i got that then i got some more tupperware these are more like mini ones um just for like sauces little things don't really know but thought they were cute so i had to get them then got these which i've needed for a long time i don't know if i'm like this is so adult of me but i was really excited about these and the food bags ceiling clips um i just know that every time i've got my mum's house if there's like a bag of crisps that are open they're sealed with one of these bags of crisps don't really stay open in this house if they're opened they're usually finished not usually any leftovers but nevertheless i thought they'd be quite handy just to have in the cupboard got some tampons because you know the score ladies needs must well not needs must they're just an essential item aren't they sorry to interrupt this um haul but i need to just show you colby this is how my son sleeps all the time i've never seen anyone so relaxed in their whole entire life then got a big bottle of robinson's dilute apple and black currant again a cupboard essential got some of this skinny food core um raspberry jam i've had their stuff before last time i did a cherries order actually i got some of their syrup and also some of their um chocolate spread and i really like it it's just a lower calorie alternatives there's only seven calories per serving in this in a 20 gram serving which i just thought was really good and i actually heard very good things about the jams um so i wanted to try that then very random but i got some cocoa pops and some special care um we're not really a cereal family however i just think they're good to have in the cupboard you know sometimes you just fancy some cereal like for example two days ago jordan was like oh we've got any wheat bix sometimes you just fancy a bowl of cereal don't you 
thought I'd keep these in the cupboard. Then I got some Skips prawn cocktail because, oh my God, they're just incredible. And to be honest, as you all know, I do try and like eat healthy majority of the time. They're only 71 calories a bag, so they're a good little snack. Um, If I need something a bit naughty, but don't want to be too naughty, I love these. I've then got these Caramac chocolates because I'm pretty certain that Jordan said to me the other day, I really want to try them Caramac chocolates. Um, but when I opened this, I said to him, oh, I got you them. And he was like, what are you on about? And I was like, don't you want to try these? And he was like, not them. And I was like, oh, so hopefully they're nice. Never tried them before. Pretty sure they will be. I then got a little Sleepy Boy, some... Um, there is Fave, he loves these baker ones. They're literally just bacon flavour, meaty treats. Can't go wrong. I then got, I know this is majority food, but I have got a lot of cleaning stuff as well. This um, just tomato and basil pasta sauce. I just like to keep at least one of these in the cupboard at all times. Just for, you know, them occasions where you can't be bothered to cook. You just fancy chucking together a really quick, easy pasta. Just easy to do, aren't they? Um... I think oh no, we've got two more food bits i think um so then i got these skinny crunch bars i really like these again when you want something a little snack i always get at like three o'clock in the afternoon like a sweet craving to have like a coffee and something sweet these mint and dark chocolate ones are my fave but i haven't tried these chocolate orange ones so excited to try them um they're actually really nice and quite filling as well and they actually taste like chocolatey I then got, this actually made me laugh, this um, medicine box, which I got for my vitamins. If you watched a couple of vlogs ago, actually it really wasn't a couple of vlogs ago, it was like lockdown vlogs. I bought a little vitamin box and it's tiny, um, just to keep my vitamins in because I do take quite a few every day. And it broke, the Thursday lid doesn't show, it's really inconvenient. So I got this thinking it was going to be the same size. It's huge. My other one's about that big, like literally that big, really small. This could fit, honestly, a lot of tablets in. Um, but, you know, it'll do the job. I then got these toasty bags because I think I just, I mean, everyone loves a ham and cheese toasty. And again, I thought, oh, actually, if I ever really fancy something, fancy a toasty, you've always got bread. I, I don't really know why I got these, but I just thought toasty bags, they look fun. Let's get them um i then got some body wash so i got this nivea shower cream which moisture soft i really like this one because it does feel like it moisturizes your skin when you're in the shower um which i like and then this marshmallow one um which i will put in my little gym travel bag thing um just to have at the gym right i don't want anyone to hate me for what i did here but i did get a little bit excited right And picked up three Christmas Zaflora scents. So I got warm cinnamon, spiced plum, and winter morning. Guys, I'm actually excited for cozy days. Like, I feel like I am just over summer. I said this in the last vlog, but I want to be cozy eating a Sunday roast, snuggling on the couch, the house smelling of Zaflora. Oh my god. That smells like a garden centre at Christmas. I just, I'm very excited for Christmas, okay? I know it's not even autumn yet, but I'm very excited. Um, so yeah, I've got some of them Zafloras because I just, like I said, got excited. Can't be helped sometimes. You get carried away and add about 50 Zafloras to your basket. Then I got some glass and window wipes. Just convenient, aren't they? And some bathroom surface wipes to keep upstairs in the bathrooms got some mega white um like laundry sheets just because i feel like some of our whites aren't super like bright white anymore so i wanted to try and freshen them up we've got some astonish dishwasher tablets um i got some washing machine cleaner just to put through i'm going to do this today actually just to give the washing machine a bit of like a deep clean you know sometimes when they start to get grubby put on my story a few weeks ago actually you know like the drum inside the washing machine i pulled it open and i literally put on my story if this doesn't sum up men i don't know what it is there was a golf tee some cufflinks um some like coins what else was there 
I can't really remember, but there was loads of stuff that just lit or some things that go under your shirt, just loads of stuff. And I was like, Jordan, the other day I was emptying the, the washing machine and Jordan's wallet fell out. I was like, you've in all week he'd been saying that he'd lost his wallet. I was like, I just can't stand men. So anyway, I'm giving the dish the washing machine a deep clean. I then got these Lenore in wash scent booster in gold orchard. I actually only used these for the first time last week. Um I went to BM and I got some laundry stuff because that's just what I do with my life. And I got some of these and they really did help your laundry smell fresh, so I got some more. Um got some of this crease release. I just like spraying this on the bed um when I make it on a morning. Just think it makes it smell fresh, if I'm honest. Then I got some pink stuff because the pink stuff just saves lives, really, if I'm being totally honest. And then I got some um oven cleaner i've used this before i don't know if i've used this specific brand actually maybe i have yeah i think i have when we moved out of our flat so you get like a big bag gloves and a bottle with this liquid in you you take all your things out the oven pop them in this bag with the liquid and then it just like takes away all like the grime or like the rust or anything so I'm gonna deep clean the oven probably not today because i think jordan's cooking us a nice lasagna tomorrow so i'll maybe do that in the week and i think that's everything yep it is so i do have a discount code for you all for cherries if this is not the wholesome content that you need cleaning supplies and food i don't know why it is um it's dion 20 i'll leave it on screen i'll leave it down below and that is 20 percent off your first order on the app or on the website really recommend the app it's very convenient if i ever like need something i just add it to my basket um wait i usually wait until i need quite a few things cause i think it's just good to do like a big order like once in a while and get a little top up of all your cleaning supplies um but yeah i'll leave that linked down below plan of action now is to clean the house i'm gonna get the wax melts on get a youtube video to watch while i'm doing it and just get cleaning and just feel like a fresh little egg good morning everybody happy sunday i have just threw on some gym clothes um i'm just doing my skincare thought i'd come on have a chat i've just used the la roche posay is that you say it not sure um what is this hyaluronic acid i think so this is it anyway makes your skin feel so hydrated that's all i've got on right now and it feels really glowy and then i'm just going to use the clinique moisture surge um moisturizer plan of action for today is we're going to go and do a food shop at 10 o'clock when the shop's open, which is in 10 minutes. Um, we are going to go to the gym. On a Sunday, I like to not do, like, a huge workout because I like to go into the week, like, feeling not achy. Like, cause on a Monday, I like to do a big buoy workout. Um, what are you barking at? Do you want to go on the windowsill? One minute, Corby wants to go on the windowsill. Yeah, so we're going to do a gym workout and then Jordan's going to make us some lasagna. So that's a fun time for everyone involved. Um, I'm going to just plan my week. Some days I like to really like plan my week, get sorted so that I'm going into a new week just feeling prepared and fresh. I tidied all the house yesterday. I don't think I vlogged after I showed you my cherry stuff. Um, but it's looking very clean and fresh. So there's just no better feeling, is there? Nice fresh food shop. What about being fresh? Got a sleek bun in because I just feel put together when I've got a sleek bun in. Everything's off my face and I can actually just get about my life. Probably going to do a hair mask later because I do tend to do them on Sundays. Um, so I'll do that with you. This is the Vitamin E Hydrating Mist from Superdrug. I've used this for ages now. Like, if you watched my YouTube channel when I first started, like, two years ago, I used to use this all the time when I did my makeup. Just so fresh, it smells like holiday and lovely bit of hydration. And then I'm having a no makeup day today because who can be bothered with that? Not me. Um, but every day I use this Rapid Shield um, eyelash daily conditioner. It's from the same brand as the Rapid Lash and Rapid Brow that I use um, for growth. And it's really nice. So let me just show you. I just brush through my brows. Just kind of puts them in the direction that I want them to go really um and it's meant to just like condition them and give them a bit of health as far as i'm aware and then to finish off just gonna put my elizabeth arden eight hour cream holy grail 
product. I used this for years and years and years and years and years. Mum used to use ew. Mum used to use it when I was a kid. Always loved it. There's a hair stuck to me. Just put a little bit on my lips. This baby's nearly gone. It's like at that dry scab stage, so hopefully that goes in the next few days. And that is me. Pretty much set for a Sunday. And this is how I like to be, just like a glazed little donut. I'm gonna chuck on my zip up top. This one is from Primark. Sports bra is Nike. These leggings are from Abel, A-Y-B-L. Abel, I think it's called. Their stuff's really nice. I've had quite a few of their bits. Um, really good quality. We'll go for an all grey look. Um, bit of Victoria's Secret body spray. Pure seduction. As you all know, I used to work at Victoria's Secret, so I had literally every single scent known to man. Um, and when I used to work there, every shift I'd just go and spray myself. So every single item of clothing that I owned basically just smells like Victoria's Secret. Um, I just use these when I don't want to use like my nice perfume, for example, if I'm going to the gym. Or I just feel like I need to spruce up a little bit. Um, they're just a good little thing to have. You can actually buy these in Superdrug now, which is quite weird, but you know, whatever. Um, what bag should I use? We'll take Givenchy Crossbody, pop my trainers on, and I will speak to you all when I'm back from the food shop. This little boy always sits on the stair when he knows that we're going out without him. Don't you? You sit there and sulk. Yeah, you're a good boy. Jordan is getting the Bags for Life. Bags for Life, are they ready? Love G-Short, they're ready. Let's get ready to go. Um, what's the first step of the... Marco's salt, pepper and olive oil. Lovely. I'm going to leave you on a time lapse to watch Jordan whip up a lasagna because it's got to sit for a few hours then we're going to go to the gym, crack on and then have it later on for dinner. Also, by the way, for breakfast I had crumpets and I used this jam which I was telling you about and it's very nice, it tastes like just normal jam, doesn't taste like it actually is healthy kind of. So really recommend that and it's only 7 calories per serving. Pancetta going into the pan.
made. It's sitting all covered up. Just going to set for a few hours and then we'll have it when we get back from the gym. We're about to go to the gym now. Um, I'm going to have some pre-workout because I'm absolutely shattered. I've had a nap on the couch. Um, John's going to put me through an upper body workout because I'm, I really can't bother to go, but I'm going to go anyway. Um, so this is the pre-workout that I've been having recently. It's from a brand called Alani. I'll leave a link down below. Um, this is Carnival Candy Grape. I don't like the taste of it. I don't like the taste of any pre-workout, if I'm honest. I think it's just not very nice to drink. Um, but I just do it with really little amounts of water. So I do one scoop in there and then just a little bit of water just so I can get it down really quick. So I'll probably do like that much water and then just try and down it. I reckon if you probably put more water in, it would be more bearable, but I'd rather just get it out of the way. But Jordan's gonna have one of the energy drinks, which is actually really nice, let me show you. So that's the energy drinks and they're actually nice, aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they? Yep. Um, so yeah, what are we doing at the gym, Jordan? What session are you putting me through? Arms and abs. Arms and abs. Sunday, then start. Then what? We're only going for the jacuzzi at the end. Yeah, we're going to go for a swim after. A little steam room, sauna situation. Um, and then come back and eat lasagna and get cozy on the couch and watch Handmaid's Tale, George. Watch football, Chelsea Arsenal, 4.30. No, right, wish me luck on this, George. And this reminds me of when we lived in America and we used to have that Swedish fish pre-workout. That's what it tastes like. gym there's a massive black cloud literally coming over our house as we speak um i actually had a really good wow well, had a really good upper body session i've mentioned before i don't usually like training the upper body because i don't really know what i'm doing and my upper body is so weak um but whenever i do want to do upper body jordan will put me through like a little session and i really enjoyed it i can see myself starting to enjoy doing it um so we did a little upper body and abs I have just had a shower, put my pyjamas on. These are from Sisters and Seekers. It's like high-waisted, um, like flared trousers and then a long sleeve top and it says, what does that say? I honestly do not know. I just tried to read it and I, I don't know. But these are my really comfortable pages. Gonna put a hair mask in. Do I wanna try a new one today? I usually always use the, and to be honest, my favourite one ever is the Grow Gorgeous Intense Thickening Hair and Scalp Mask. Love this, along with obviously my castor oil and patika oil. That's just a given. If you're new around here, go and watch the hair care video because then you'll understand. Um, I also really like the Olaplex number eight. That's a good one. But I did have a few new ones. So should we spice up our lines and try some new ones? Yeah. Okay, so we've got, can you see me down here? A Mark Hill one. Should we try this? Let's try the Mark Hill one. Oh, actually, I've got some new Grow Gorgeous ones as well, actually. Let's have a look at them. Okay, this one's an overnight mask from Grow Gorgeous, so I'm going to try this instead. Um, it's Balance Shine Enhancing Overnight Mask. Apply as part of the Balance Hair Care Regime. Apply a generous amount of dry hair, root to tip, massage under the scalp, hair in a bun, leave in overnight. I leave all my masks in overnight anyway, but this is a specific overnight one, so we'll give it a go. Maybe I won't do my castor oil then, because this is meant to be like from scalp to root. Hmm. So I have a specific tangle teaser for all my hair masks. Obviously it's really oily and like greasy, because I use it with oil. You don't want to be using that on clean hair, otherwise your hair's just going to get greasy straight away. Um, and yeah, let's give this a go. First impressions. 
smells incredible. All of the Grow Gorgeous stuff smells gorgeous. Let me take my ring off. I'm not going to lie, guys. I did have a little bit of a breakdown before because I've been using my Louis Vuitton hold all, my new one, as a gym bag because my mindset is that's something I can use every single day. Do I want to leave it just in the dust bag for special occasions? No, like a bag's there to be used. Um, and I'm like one of them people, which um, I assume most people are, that I really do look after things. So like everything in that bag was in, like any bottles and stuff like shampoo was in a plastic bag, like a, a makeup bag thing, like really secure. The one thing, the, I'm not getting angry about it again. The one thing that wasn't in a bag was my deodorant. A spray deodorant, may I add. I walked out to get into the car to go to the gym. And Jordan was like, what's that on your bag? I was like, don't, don't joke, Jordan. He was like, no, D, what's that on your bag? I'm going to, oh, my finger's in there. Let, let me show you. My, can you see that? Oh, that's a different colour. Don't get angry, Dion. Honestly, so basically, my deodorant is leaked in the bottom of my bag and came through and, like, stained the bottom of there. Don't quite know what I do with myself. I did cry did have a breakdown about it um, and then I realised there's actually a lot more important things going on in the world and a lot worse that is going on in this world so I was being a little bit ridiculous but you know when you're just so frustrated like I was just like for god's sake I've just got it anyway there's a handbag clinic in Newcastle called the handbag clinic who like clean bags and get stuff out so I've dm'd them and we're going back to Newcastle um at the weekend so hopefully i can go in and they can sort it out for me um i do know like that the louis vuitton bags like age over time and they do go like a darker color but i think the point is is that you can tell it's different to the rest and i've just got it so i was just so frustrated because i'm such a like a person who i wanted everything in bags so nothing could like harm the inside nothing could spill and the one thing spray deodorant which you don't even think could leak possibly leaks oh i was absolutely livid i'm still not over it as you can tell it only happened about an hour ago so here i am that's why i've had a shower put a hair mask in and i'm about to go and just try and be zen and get out of my bad mood so I'm just applying this from the roots down to my ends. I just love having a hair mask in. Just such a nice, nice little pamper. Jordan came into my dressing room and I was just sat on the floor looking at my bag crying. He was like, oh my God. He was like, don't cry. Like, it's fine. And I was like, why did this have to happen? I was, I was really not good. So what I'm going to do is everybody, it's a full moon tonight. If you don't believe in all this stuff, don't mind me. However, it's a full moon um, and I've seen this list of things that you should do. So like write down negative things that you want to release, write down positive things that you want to manifest into your life, etc, etc. So I've got my little notebook there. I'll show you. I've got like a specific notebook. It's um, like personalised, got my name on it. And that's where I write down like any goals, stuff like that. So I'm going to get myself cosy on the couch. Write down things I want to release, e.g. getting fuming over my bag um, and other things which are of more importance and uh, just get in touch with myself, you know, get ready for a new week, get ready to be positive, smash the week and eat lasagna. So I will probably show you the lasagna when it's ready because I can't wait to eat it and Jordan, I'm very impressed with Jordan, he is quite the chef. Um, so yeah, off to be positive vibes. Speak to you when it's lasagna time. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart. What is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors. Look at that that looks incredible got a little side salad there garlic bread still in the oven getting crispy well done jordan i am very very impressed look at that cheese yep cut it let's get live footage of you cutting it 
putting it on there. Also, this is a lot for two people. We will not eat all this, although Jordan potentially might. Oh no, oh no. Oh well, he's absolutely... It's all right, darling. We don't care about presentation. Okay. Lav wants round two of plating up to prove they can do it properly. Oh, on my plate. Oh my god, okay. All right. This girl can eat a lot of lasagna. The only right way to end a Sunday is with this jam sponge pudding and custard. This is literally making me feel so wholesome and nostalgic I can't even cope. So I'm about to quickly make this, get cosy, watch Handmaid's Tale and then get ready for Love Island. What a night. Good morning everybody from me and my lemon tea <laughs> that rhymed um just made this i actually call me i mean call me the next addison rare i actually just made a tiktok of this recipe because it is a recipe that i get asked all the time if you knew the vlogs if you've watched them for a long time you probably know the recipe um and I wouldn't really post on Instagram and I'm trying to just get a little bit more on TikTok. Like, I love TikTok so much. It's my favourite thing ever. Like, I sit and scroll for so long. But I don't really put them out myself. So I'm going to make a conscious effort to try. So go and follow me over there. It's just Dio Crow, the same as my Instagram. Um, and help a girl out because I am actually trying, okay? Might not be the best, but I am trying. Um, been to the gym this morning. Came back, made my lemon water... Had a shower, about to get ready and spend the day just working in the house today. It's actually blue skies. Thank God a little bit of better weather coming our way. Um, but yeah, about to quickly jump on, say hello. Just washed my hair mask out as well, so I'm going to give my hair a brush. It feels so clean and fresh. There's nothing better than washing your hair after a hair mask. Um, style that and get into a new week. So yeah. Okay, makeup done. I actually... Did I make an effort? Yeah, I slightly made an effort today. Bit of eyeshadow. I actually put a bit of foundation on. I got a new YSL one and I do like it. I think the shade's a little bit light for me. Um, I had to like mix in some of my NARS. Um, but yeah, I did put a little bit of foundation on, bit of eyeshadow. Don't really know why. But here we are. Also, my hair feels really soft and lovely. I just ran the straighteners over it. Um, but I've had it in Eclipse. It's probably got a kink in now. Um, just been sat editing this. Oh, there's a white butterfly. Hello. Um, just been sat editing this video, doing a little bit of work on my laptop. Had a PR package arrive, and honestly, unreal. You know, when you get something, you're just like, wow, that is so cool. First of all, it's from Too Faced, who I've loved for years and years and years. Like, back in the day, used to use their stuff all the time. Love it. Um, and basically they sent me this be as bold as your brows PR package look at that and then when you open it that is legit like fluff um, and it's their brow stuff so we've got their brow super fine brow detailer pomade and a pencil and the brow wig I've never tried their brow stuff um, so I'm very excited to try this so they're like basically just a thin pencil. I think they've sent me like three shades. So I'll have to try out and see which one is best for me. So that was the thin pencil. What is this then? That looks similar. What is that? Is that a gel? That kind of, I'm confused. That kind of looks like a gel in a brush. Okay. Oh, so it's like a pump. That makes sense, pomade and a pencil. It's like not as dry as a pencil, more like wet. And then a brow gel. I love a brow gel. I'm always here for a brow gel. Oh yeah. Gorgeous. So what a lovely little package to have on this Monday afternoon, eh? Um, I did try and do my makeup a little bit nicer today. Because like I said, I'm going out with the weekend and I wanted to just try some things because I do want to make an effort with my makeup. Like if I go on a night out, and you, you know what I'm like, I don't really wear or make an effort with it on a day to day. So I want to get a bit better, you know. I even got a little wing on there. Did you see that? Yeah, you heard it here first. Not only am I the new Addison Rae, I'm also the new Desi Perkins. Um, so yeah, that's all I'm really up to, to be honest. Oh, putting some laundry on. Just an average day in the life of me. Um, also, it's blue skies, which is making me very happy. 
So I'm going to take little Lulu on a WLK. Hi guys, good morning. I have just had, look at Corby. Like, is that really necessary? <laughs> um, I've just had a few deliveries come. I ordered some bits from Beauty Bay. I ordered some bits from PLT and I've also got some stuff from Princess Polly but I'm keeping that for a separate um, haul. So I went a bit wild on PLT last night because I realised that I haven't got anything to wear for bank holiday. So I was like, what am I going to wear? I'm going to have to order a new outfit. My go-to when I'm looking for like outfits for stuff like last minute or nights out is pretty much always PLT. I always go to them and order this angle is just not the one let me sort you out okay that's a little bit better let me show you what i got from beauty bay first i had an absolute nightmare to say the least because i placed one order ordered this stuff um accidentally sent it to my leeds address from when i lived in leeds at uni i don't know why that address was connected to my beauty bay account um when i've ordered from beauty bay in the past five years um very strange however it got sent to Leeds and then I tried to cancel it with their customer service and apparently it already left the warehouse even though it was like 10 minutes after I placed the order so that was great um so someone in Leeds is going to get some new fake tan and a powder love that for you so I had to reorder it to Nottingham what a nightmare so first thing I got is just this NYX HD finishing powder just a really cheap basic powder because I don't wear powder you know, when you feel like you've said a word a million times. I don't wear it, um, but then I watched a TikTok shock of this girl doing her makeup and she used this under her eyes and it looked so nice. I'm usually scared of powder because I hate my face looking cakey and matte. And because I don't really wear foundation, I just feel like I don't need it. However, the way her skin looked was incredible, so I'm going to try that. What is Corby doing? Corby! Then I got this Sosu Dripping Gold Ultra Dark Tan and Mousse. Yeah, that's what it's called. That was long-winded. Um, I got this because Alex used this last week and her tan was so good. Like, it didn't look like fake tan. It looked natural. And she said that, like, to come off, it doesn't go all tiger bread. It doesn't go patchy. Like, it comes off really nice. And she really was raving about this and said it's really good. So she sent me the link and I have ordered it. So I'm going to fake tan this weekend. Um, I still do have a bit of a natural tan. I've got face tan on. I went to sleep with the Isle of Paradise tanning drops on my face last night um so my face is looking a bit tanned kind of um but i think for bank holiday i'm going on a night out i want to be bronzed so i'm going to give this a go i'll try it out see how it like see how it is over like the few days after and stuff and then i'll let you know my thoughts in next week's vlog but i'm very excited to try that because like i said alex's tan was beautiful the other day and then from PLT, like I said, I did go a little bit wild on there. What are you because you'd rather have more options than no options, am I right? So I bought, let me show you this first. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen me wear this outfit. I'll put it on screen. Um, it's from PLT and it's, it's just a really nice material and you know when you find something that just fits your body nice, you feel really comfortable in, that is how I feel in that two piece. Um, and as I was browsing, I seen that they had it in more colours. The favourite colour. Oh, this is also a new tracksuit from Nikki Studios by the way. I'll show you it in the mirror. I'll also try all these clothes on from PLT so you can see how they fit. So I ordered this. Um, because I loved the white set and I loved this colour. The only issue is, in the white set, I wear a size 8. Um, but didn't have an 8 available. So I got a 10 in the skirt, which to be fair, I think it will be okay. It might just sit a little bit lower, but whatever. And then in the top, they only had a size 12. But I just thought to myself, maybe it'll just be a bit more full of coverage on the boobs. Because that one is quite tight anyway. And I just think with tops like this, when it's like a tie vibe, you can't really, there isn't much in the size. So hopefully that fits well. Um, the sleeves do look a bit baggier, but you know, whatever. It might just be a little bit more of an oversized look, but that's fine with me. I just thought the colour was beautiful. And like I said, I absolutely love that set on. So I wanted to get it in more colours. And because I wanted it in more colours, I also got it in the black because again 
black is just a classic i'll wear that white one or if i haven't got anything to wear i'll throw that white two piece on um, and the black did have a size 8, so I've got that in the size 8. I really hope the green fits because I love the colour. Like, really do love it. Um, but yeah, that's the black. You'll see it better when I try it on. Oh, I forgot I ordered this. Then I got this jumpsuit. Again, to potentially wear on a bank holiday, but probably will keep. Oh, yeah. I was really confused there. I was like, eh. Um, so this is like a ribbed knit jumpsuit you tie it around there got the long trousers i just think this is sexy if i'm honest got it in a size eight it's called the shape stone knit underbust detail halter neck jumpsuit i just think if this fits nice then it is sexy and then the final thing that i bought from plt is i think a top Yes, so I just got this really plain and simple to be honest. Um, get out. Uh, hold the neck top so that it goes around your waist and that goes around the boobs. Just thought with jeans, a blazer, um, just easy to wear. And I like that it was tie so you can like pull the boobs however you want them. So yeah, I will try all of those on fear and show you what they look like. I can't show you the Princess Polly stuff because as I said, a haul is coming. All right, we're going to all just have to excuse the mess that is going on, okay? I'm in the process of sorting out a lot of packages, sorting out shoot things, haul things. It's a lot. Um, I'm going to show you the items on. So this is the tracksuit from Nikki Studios. I love Nikki Studios tracksuits. They're just... The quality is just where it's at. Like, this hoodie is so thick and just good quality like all the items feel like super heavy super thick i love the fit of them is nice and oversized um and obviously the color is just beautiful so yeah love this i'll leave this linked down below okay so the color is beautiful i don't think the top on the top half being a 12 matters that much like yeah it's a little bit more baggy but i still like it the skirt feels too big because i want it to be like that and then tight like that whereas it's just a bit baggy so I don't really know what to do about that situation maybe I just keep checking online and hope that an 8 comes back in stock and I don't wear it for bank holiday I'll wear it for a different occasion because I do love it and I love the green or I could go and get it altered but can I be bothered to do that before Sunday probably not um but yeah, isn't this, isn't this like material just stunning? Like it's kind of like waffly. No, it's not. I don't know what it is. Um, but I do love that. I'm upset that the skirt feels too big. Right, do you see what I mean? This is the it. And the fit of this is just so much more dressy and night out vibes. Like even the top, it's a lot more tight around your arms. The skirt fits like high waisted yeah i'm gonna have to get an air i'm gonna have to wait and hope and pray it comes back in stock please plt please i need it in the green um but yeah love the black definitely gonna keep this because i know that i'll get a lot of wear out of this it's just a classic throw on piece for me i'd also wear this like going into autumn winter as well i know it's quite summery because of the material but some below the knee boots and it would instantly be a lot more autumn winter vibes so yeah Happy with this, it's definitely a bank holiday um, potential outfit. Right, every single one of you, right now, pause this video, scroll down to my description bar and order this top because, I'm sorry, it is so flattering. Because this bit of material comes so far out to the side, it like slims your waist almost. I don't know what it does. But as you can see, it just is great on the girls. Great, like, just very flattering. feels very secure. I'm wearing a size 8. I love it. These jeans are new, by the way. Princess Polly baggy vibes. I really enjoy them a lot. Um, this could definitely be a contender for bank holiday, just with jeans and some heels and go quite, like, chill vibes. I love this top so much right guys that's going to go ahead and end this week's weekly vlog really hope you enjoyed it make sure to like comment and subscribe if you did and as always i will see you in the next one bye